welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this makeup look. I think it is really great for spring and summer and it was actually inspired by a couple new products that I got lately and I wanted to use both of them so I just kind of combined them and this is the look that I came up with. So if you guys like this look and want to see how I got it, please keep watching. Okay, so I've already done my foundation and brows and I will link what I used down below and I'm moving on to concealer and this is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And this stuff is really thick and pigmented so a little bit goes a long way and I'm just going to put that everywhere I would normally conceal and highlight in the triangle under my eyes, center of my forehead, down my nose, a little bit on my chin. and a little bit in those smile lines. I'm also going to put a little bit on my lids just for a shadow primer. And then I'm going to blend everything out with a damp beauty blender. To set my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to try something that I haven't really tried. I got this, I don't know if it was like an Ipsy package or like a perk from something. I don't remember. But it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. Just kind of a shimmery bronzer. So I'm going to use that to kind of bronze up my skin a little bit. Then to contour, I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. For blush, I'm going to use the Morphe 9B palette, and I'm going to use these two colors right here, the two pinky colors. This one is more of a hot pink, and it's matte, and this one is a lighter pink, and it has some shimmer to it, so I'm just going to kind of mix the two together. Definitely tap off the excess with these because they are pretty pigmented, and with the hot pink, it's easy to get out of hand. So as you can see, I'm using that a little bit on both of my cheeks, and it's going to be plenty of color. Then I'm going to go back in with that powder brush, nothing on it, and just kind of soften that color a little bit. Then for a bronzy, glowy highlight, I'm using the Laura Geller Baked Gelato, what is this called? The Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. And I'm just going to put that everywhere we normally would, on the tops of our cheekbones on our nose, Cupid's bow. A little 
little bit above my brows. Okay, moving on. So I'm wanting to use a couple things that I recently either purchased or got in my Ipsy package. And what I recently purchased is this NYX face and body glitter and it is in the shade teal. And then in my Ipsy package I got a NYX liquid suede lipstick. I have one of them but I don't have this color. This one is Pink Lust. This is a hot pink shade. So I kind of want to use both of these, but since they're both like really bold, bright colors, I don't want to go too overboard with this one so I can use them both. So I'm going to figure out how I want to do that and we'll get started. Okay, so first I'm going to do a shadow. I'm not going to do anything too crazy since I am going to be using that glitter. Um, this is, I'm not really sure where I got this from, it says it's the brand Beauty Rush and it is in the shade Gold Rush. It's just a gold shadow like that and I'm just going to kind of press this onto my lid nothing too crazy just a little bit of color I'm also going to put just a little bit of that hula bronzer in my crease just for a little bit of dimension Okay, so now I'm going to try something I haven't tried before, so I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll find out. Instead of using a glitter glue for that glitter, I'm going to try using a wet liner, and this is the NYX White Liquid Liner. So I'm going to try to make a wing like you normally would, and then press the glitter onto that, and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I can already tell that the liner is drying pretty quickly. So now that I've got like the base of it down, I'm going to try to do just a little section at a time while it's still uh, wet and then stick the glitter on and then do another section and stick the glitter on and see how that works. Okay, so that was not going to work. The liner was drying way too fast. So what I did was I left the white liner and then I just pressed um, some of this e.l.f glitter primer over it and then packed the glitter onto that but I also packed quite a bit of powder underneath my eyes so that whenever the glitter falls down because it will you can just brush it away so I did that to this eye I'm gonna go ahead and do it to this eye So I just keep alternating back and forth in little sections between the glue and the glitter just so the glue stays nice and tacky. Nice to get a good base down and then I'll go back in and fill in any spots that don't have enough glitter on them. Also keep in mind that I'm using cosmetic grade glitter. This is not regular glitter. If you want to use regular glitter, that's totally up to you, but it's not meant for your eyes. So if you do use that, be extremely careful not to get in your eyes. It's obviously better to use cosmetic grade if you have it. Okay, so once you're done packing on the glitter, you can just brush away that extra powder. And if you need to clean up the wing at all, you can just take a Q-tip and a little bit of makeup remover and just kind of clean up any glitter that got out of that line. And as you can see, it still looks like I have liner coming through, but that's actually just what got on my lashes. So that'll just go away whenever I put on mascara. So just go ahead and clean up your lines, brush away the powder, and we will move on. 
For my lower lash line, I'm just going to take a pencil brush and a little bit more of that Hoola bronzer just to have something on my lower lashes, nothing too crazy. Then I'm just going to curl my lashes carefully so that I'm not bumping that liner of glitter just in case it's not completely dry yet. Then I'm just going to apply some mascara to prep for falsies and this is the Maybelline Great Lash. I'm also going to use a little bit of L'Oreal Telescopic just to get right up at the base of the lashes and it helps get these little inner corner lashes and I really like it for the lower lash line because the brush is so small so it kind of helps keep you from touching your face. While the mascara is drying, I am going to move on to lips, and this is the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Fuchsia. It doesn't really match with the lipstick I'm going to be using, but you're not really going to see it. It's just kind of going to give me a little bit of a, an edge so that when I apply lipstick, it doesn't get outside the lines, because liquid lipstick can get a little bit messy. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips a little bit and slightly fill them in. Okay, so I almost forgot, um, since I'm wearing a liquid lipstick, they can be very drying, so I'm going to apply the Best Damn Lip Mask and let that sit for a little bit while I apply my lashes. So for lashes, instead of using a full band lash, I'm just using these accent lashes, and they're the 301s from Ardell. They're just kind of an outer half kind of lash, just to give it a little bit of like a wing flared kind of effect, if that makes sense. And to attach my lashes, I am using the House of Lash Eyelash Adhesive in the white slash clear one. Okay, so as you can see, I put one lash on on this eye and not this eye, and it's nothing too crazy. It just kind of gives it a little extra something on the outer edge. I'm also going to apply some white liner to my lower waterline, and this is just the NYX pencil. Okay, so to finish off this look, I'm using the NYX Suede Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pink Lust. Okay, so that completes this look. I think it is really cute and fun and bright for spring and summer. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below what you want to see next and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!